teaching you guys how to use two very unique features in CyberLink PowerDirector 9. First of all, I'm going to teach you guys um, how to use 3D slideshows in CyberLink 9. In case you guys didn't know, CyberLink PowerDirector 9 has the capability of you taking many pictures and making a slideshow out of them but not just any slideshow, a 3D slideshow that looks very professional. First, all you gotta do is take the photos, drag them into the timeline, and you can select as many photos as you want. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it to one photo at first. Click on the slideshow tab, you'll get many options. Now what you guys are gonna wanna do is, um, just click on any one. You can experiment, you know, see what all they what they all look like. I'm just going to show you guys what a montage looks like right now. It will give you a little preview of it. Now the preview might not look amazing, but once this video is rendered in HD, the quality is quite impressive. It looks very professional and it looks very nice. I'm just going to let it render it and it just made it a video basically now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna undo that and now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when I take all the photos and I'll put them all into a slideshow I'm gonna use montage once again I'm gonna render it as you guys can see, it combined all the pictures into that one video. Here's a preview of it. And what it's going to do is just going to put all those pictures into that animation. Now, if you're like me and um, you just want to make them all separate, all you got to do is click every picture individually. You could do a different slideshow for all of them. And then what you're going to want to do is um, put a transition in between them. And that would make it look very nice. I'm going to show you guys that in one second. All right, go to the transitions. I'll just use a simple fade, put it in between those two. That's the first photo. And then it goes into the next one. As you can see, that was very smooth. Looks very nice. And um, now I'm going to teach you guys how to use Wave Editor. Wave Editor lets you um, capture and edit very high quality audio, such as the audio I'm recording right now. Wave Editor is uh, pretty simple to use. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the settings you can do with it. Um, you got to select your profile and um, every mic is different and it records at a different quality. This just happens to be the quality that my mic records at. Now let's say if I was to set it to a higher quality or even a low lower quality, um, it would sound distorted and it wouldn't sound right. So make sure when you are recording, you set it to the exact specifications for your mic. Also, um, Cyberlink Wave Editor has many um, effects as you can see here on the side. Um, some one of the really useful effects would be um, adding noise reduction to a clip. So if I recorded something, let's say my voice, and um, let's say there's noise in the background, and you want to remove that noise, all you do is go to noise distort reduction, and um, what it will do is it'll try to remove it as well as it can. Um, it doesn't work perfectly, but I mean, it works alright. For some mics, for some reason, it would make it sound weird. So, um, it really matters on the mic you have. There's other effects, like, you can make it sound like a radio. Which I guess would be cool for, uh, let's say, maybe a YouTube video. But basically, that's, that's basically all Wave Editor can do. It's not much, but it's very useful. And, um, that's about it. So don't forget to go to LegendaryReviews.com for game reviews, downloads, and much, much more.